Okay, this video is called the Spartan Vegan Food Plate is the Best. And where this comes from is all these other diets, I see them making a food plate. So I just thought it'd be fun, I'll make a food plate too. So the Spartan Vegan is sort of my diet. You know, the Spartan comes from, I used to be a wrestler, plus it's really sparse. The, the minimum, bare minimum that optimizes health because I don't like to waste a lot of time. I mean, I love the food I eat, but I don't spend a lot of time with it. Um, and this is also inexpensive, it's cheap. Okay, so what's the logic behind all this? First of all, the majority of your calories should come from starch. It's the best way to satisfy your hunger. Starches are cheap. Starches can store for a long time. Um, sweet potatoes are the best food in the whole world. The reason is they only got 1% fat. The lower the fat percent, the skinnier the population. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, and rice only have 1% fat. Okay, then the other thing is I want my protein low. The amount of protein in sweet potatoes is only about 4.5%. In regular potatoes, it's about 8 or 9%. In rice, it's about 7% or so. So in general, we tend to eat way too much protein. Okay, the, the goal is not to get more protein. The goal is to decrease protein. And what's that based on? It's based on research like by James R. Mitchell from Harvard who found that the less protein people ate, the longer they live. Now, I realize that gets a little tricky because there's the blue zone data saying that a cup of beans a day is associated with the greatest longevity. So... I do eat beans. I enjoy them. They provide great satisfaction of hunger, tons of fiber. I just don't um, go looking for any extra protein than that. Beans taste good. They bring flavor. They bring them to life. You know, rice is kind of boring. It's a background. Basically, essentially, white rice is just a carbohydrate source. Not a whole lot of nutrients or anything else in there. Um, Kempner fed, fed his patients white rice as well. And the reason why I like white rice over brown rice is just because it has less arsenic in it. And I get, you know, California grown, let's say, or somewhere else that it's at least not in a spot where they used to use arsenic pesticides like southeastern United States. I wouldn't buy rice from that location. Um, the other thing is all these things are just single ingredient. You know, the only oatmeal I would eat would be plain oatmeal with water, filtered water. Plain quinoa, 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 however you say it, with water. I used to eat carrots. I don't eat carrots too much anymore because I do have an amalgam filling and I don't like biting on the carrot. I think, I don't know, I just don't. But I think carrots are good and they're kind of starchy. They're kind of a vegetable too, that's fine. Uh, a little bit of greens. Try to have at least one salad every day. It's probably a good idea to try to have two a day, but I try to get at least one a day. Cauliflowers are also a good vegetable. Um, I eat a lot of fruits, probably close to about 45% of my calories from fruit, 35 to 45%. It'll depend on the day and what's available, what's in the fridge. But in general, if you're going to eat more fruits than that, you probably have to live somewhere tropical like Hawaii or something or, you know, southern United States. They're just more readily available. Fruits are more of a challenge because they're more expensive and they don't store as well. But, you know, they taste great and I'm healthy with them. McDougal will, will say, go ahead, eat as much as you want of starches. You can eat 95% of your calories from starches. Um, you know, I'm careful with the bananas because they can affect your teeth. I do like the watermelons when they're available. Uh, some of the big fruit eaters love papayas. And there's other fruits that are good, but I think we got colored vision so we can see fruits when they're ripe. As far as things to drink, I only drink water, just filtered water. And I don't even drink that much water. I get so much uh, hydration just from eating these foods. And that's basically what I eat. And it's real simple here. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my picture off the screen so if you want, all you got to do is hit the print screen button. It's located right over the, you know, the little arrows for direction. And then the, the insert, delete, home, page up, page down key. So anyways, if you hit the print screen button, you could save a copy of this if you want to. So go ahead if you want to. Okay, we're going to go on the next slide now. Let's see, here we go. Okay, so this was just a little logo for the Spartan Vegan of the Spartan Vegan Diet. This is the food pyramid for the Spartan Vegan. If you want to, if you want a print screen on that, you can hit a print screen being on that. Some people wanted to put a picture of this on their refrigerator. Um, so go ahead if you want to do that. Let me grab this thing back here. Oh crap, I made myself upside down. Alright. All right, so anyways, this is basically your Spartan vegan uh, food pyramid, and this is all sort of the, the social aspects of health. Um, so I think this is good, and like I said, it's really simple. It's cheap, and it works. It keeps you healthy. I'm 59, no medical problems, mentally sharp, physically strong. That's what you want. 
Okay, um, you've seen this chart before, but just again, for if you don't haven't seen it in a while or you care, and again, all this stuff, all you gotta do is hit the print screen button and you can make a copy of it you want. So basically, you win in everything. The low fat, low sodium vegan. Don't listen to people who tell you you need to more eat more fat. I think that's nonsense. Don't listen to people that tell you you need meat or these other things. Never want fried food. Uh, I'm gonna show you on the next slide a little bit more of the things that I recommend to avoid. Basically, I'm pretty much like Esselstyn, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty much like the strictest of the, the vegans in terms of what I recommend, and there's a reason for that. Okay, some people say, why are you so strict, you know? You know, and again, like, like Esselstyn, no meat, not one bite, no oil, not one drop, no sweets. I also recommend no alcohol, no caffeine, and like Esselstyn, no nuts. And people say, well, why are you so strict? And well, it's just because that's what works. <laughs> I want to be healthy, okay? I mean, if you want to be healthy, play the game to be healthy. Uh, you know, you can do whatever you want, but this creates health. This keeps arteries open. And having arteries open is what helps you to maintain your mental smarts, your vitality, your energy, your zip. And that's what you want. Uh, you know, I see most people, they're not aging well. Like I, said, like I said, I tell you, my internal medicine friends, they'll tell me that. And I, in my own personal experience, I would concur. My internal medicine friends will tell me the vast majority of their patients over 60 are real slow cognitively. And it's routine that people are slow cognitively in their 50s. And they get that dull, half-dead look, you know, with their sort of like poorly perfused skin, slow, you know, reaction time to conversation. You don't want to get there because, you know, you start hitting a point where the disease becomes irreversible. Any, let's see, anything else interesting in here? Oh, this stuff's real easy to cook. It's all just boil water. You boil more water for all the starches. Anyone could do that. You can get an Instapot for making your rice and you can cook other things in there too, your oatmeal, your beans and stuff. Um, it's fast to clean up. It's cheap. If you want fancier stuff, go to other vegan sites or like Chef AJ knows all the cooking and stuff. I don't really get involved in any of that. Um, I only eat organic. I mean, that's a topic for another day, but there's reasons for that. Um, so, oh, yeah, why do I say no nuts? I don't like any of this fat stuff. I think all that good fats talk is a bunch of nonsense. I don't think you need extra omega-3s. I think you get plenty of them from plant foods. Dr. McDougall would agree with that. You know, Pritikin had written, and I agree with him. I read through his stuff. Um, there's no such thing as being uh, too low in fats. There's no such thing as being too low in protein. It's impossible on any types of foods that you could pick that you're going to end up too low in protein or fat. Um, so I've I made lectures on all that stuff before. So anyways, hope this helps.